wow, this the car this update came out in was uh not like let's just let's just say that. But anyway, this which was a Polaris, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's an ATV. And did wait wait a minute, did they increase the size? This thing looks huge. I swear this wasn't this big. Oh, I know why, because when I first bought it, I was dressed as a noob. And it was I was blocky, so it looked it made it look bigger, but it looks so I'm like a child. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you're purposely small, but those legs looking very small. Very short. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so this this update wasn't the update this was in wasn't really received well. It wasn't really received well because it was kind of like, yeah, I get people why they didn't like it, because the cars kind of sucked. And people maybe thought, oh no, they're gonna add like boats and stuff, but, you know, but for a second, just take a minute, this is, I'm not, I'm not for it, I want this game to stay with just cars, but think about it, imagine the dealerships, a dealership on the water that you could store boats on, just imagine, just imagine, just think about it for a second, and then having one where you put planes in, and again, just think about it, which actually brings up an interesting point, maybe you should just add an airport, and have like a airport drag strip, like a huge drag strip. That'd be cool, just for a drag race, like, or maybe just move the drag race all to there. But anyway, enough talk. Let's talk about this, the ATV. And now how this series is going to work is that I'm going to talk about basically when, let's say for it like this, like I've where what was the last car I reviewed? It was this one. So obviously they added this, which was. A lower class in the car I just so this one takes priority I have to review this one before I review any of the other ones and that's probably how the series will go when I reviewed most of the cars and new store cars come to the game but anyway here it is the ATV these are the statistics 185 kilometers an hour with 7.7 .7 handling all-wheel drive and for miles per hour it goes a whopping 115 this is faster I think than the go-kart but the go-karts cooler People like the go-kart, no one likes this car. Anyway, acceleration test. That was the Formula 2016. Can this ATV beat that time and secure itself as probably the worst car in the game? Honestly, there's no point really buying this, and I'm going to say this before even checking the acceleration. Do not buy this, it's a waste of time. Anyway, uh, sound. whopping 11 seconds. I think that was actually faster than both the Miata and the go-kart from the season. Oh my god. Alright, let me change the time really quick. This is 7, that's better. Anyway, this does sound quite nice, but it's not worth it. It's not even that good for dunes because they kind of spin out a lot. They're slow. It's just not worth the 18,000 that are, it's priced at. It's not worth it. I guess unless you want to roleplay as a farmer, but why do that when you can have like the RZR, this one, the RZR, or whatever, the UTV. Anyway, this car, this this thing sucks, do not buy it. That's, that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.